I feel like somebody was being a little bit too t like, yeah, obsessed. You know, other way to put this. Capricorn, welcome to your June 2023 reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Simone, the moon goddess. Hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. So let's move into your reading. Let's see what the potential energies. Remember, these are general. It either resonates or it doesn't. So if it doesn't resonate, it's not your message this time around. So let's get into it, my loves. May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm tonight. All right, so let's start with some themes, some theme words that could potentially pop up for you in June. I'm using the Le Vampire Oracle deck. All of my decks I have listed in the description box if you are curious. So let's get your first message. This is theme for Capricorn. Spirit guys, thank you. All right, so we have compassion, empathy, simpatico, kindness. Okay, so those are some of the themes that can pop up for you. We have faith, trust, unwavering, confidence. Pray, stopped, invaded, watched. Wow, that's heavy. Let's see what's under that. The past, a prison, bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. Ooh, Capricorn. Somebody being a little bit obsessed here, a little bit obsessive. Let's see what's under that one. Ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss. Okay. Yeah, pray, stopped, invaded, watched. I don't like that at all. Let's see what's at the heart of all of this for you. Outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. Wow. So let me read those again. Compassion, empathy, sympathetic kindness, faith, trust, unwavering confidence. We have pray, stopped, invaded, watched, an outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. All right. Um, yeah, that's a lot. Let's move into your tower message and see what comes through for you. So the messages for Capricorn. Okay, so we have Father of Pentacles and Son of Swords. So that's two people. I would assume you are the father of pentacles as the earth energy here. Um, son of swords could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, somebody who, who's younger than you are. And it's interesting because look at how the O is coming right to the, like flying right towards the father of pentacles. Um, somebody who's younger than you are, somebody who's a little bit Flighty. See Wheel of Fortune here. There's a, an owl on this card as well. Give me one more card for what's going on with their for them in June. Is that the same card? Five of Swords. So this is a conflict that happened, loves. Somebody feels very slighted. I want you all to be extra. Um, vigilant in June and moving forward as well okay this lover's card keeps showing up so somebody who you would who you might have been intimate with or in a relationship with and somebody there's something happened and somebody refuses to let go of some kind of grudge in some way let's see how this unfolds let's see what's going on for you for self Cards, eight of eight of swords, 
five of wands six of six of cups ace of swords so we've got the eight of swords five of wands six of cups ace of swords so have you been feeling as if you aren't able to express yourself authentically have you been holding back yourself in some way and from and it's almost as if when you do open up your wings and fly or be fully who you are it causes this sense of scattered the energy becomes scattered maybe this is whoever it is that's kind of holding on in some way because the roots run deep here with the six of cups energy but the truth is the truth and you've got to live in your truth um so it feels as if whoever this is that is obsessed in some way with you could be somebody that you've known for quite some time Let me just clarify what's going on here. And you might be now seeing, as you are now living your truth and being authentic to you, it's making other people feel uncomfortable or upset. Tell me more, what's going on with this Eight of Swords, Five of, five of Wands? Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, what's this energy? The Death card. Scorpio, are you being rebirthed? You're again, you stepping fully into your own energy, you're not putting up with a lot of foolishness that you might have in the past, and now everybody feeling like, oh, what's going on with with Capricorn, Knight of Cups? So yeah, somebody, somebody a little bit Five of Wands again. Somebody trying to hold you down. Keep on, keep on keeping on with y'all's energy. Keep doing the work. Keep focusing on you. But stay vigilant, vigilant, vigilant. All right, let's see what's going on with your money. What's going on with your money, career, business? Card shuffling so weird today. Give me one more card for, for Capricorn, please. For their money, career, and business. The Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so a new opportunity coming through for you, okay? That you're going to feel inspired on. It might... The thing is, whatever is showing up, how it unfolds in the physical might not be how exactly how you would have wanted or exactly how you've been calling it in. But that, is ne that does not necessarily mean that that's a negative thing because for the Ace of Cups to be the first card here shows me that there's potential for you to be happy. But part of that could be connected to you changing your perspective on it, all right, and being more open-minded about it. Not closing off yourself because of um, small details. Tell me about this Four of Cups energy here, please. Their money. That's a Four of Cups here. Alright, so you got the moon. So it could all depend on your mood. Whatever your mood is on any particular day, one day, it might be. Depending on when this this um, Ace of Cups presents itself, it could be a day where you feel really good and you feel happy and you're like, yes. And if you're annoyed when this Ace of Cups shows up, you could start picking, picking, picking at everything and that could potentially cause you to sabotage. This goodness is coming in, so be mindful of that. All right, you've got the lovers showing up here again. Give me one more. Why is this Four of Cups here? Give me one more card for their four cups. Maybe it's when it shows up. Because it could be a sense of you've been waiting for however long and now it's showing up and you're like, so now you want to, 
So no, you want to offer me this or no, you think and you start to get a little bit like petty or whatever. No, because you got the four cuts showing up here again. No, sorry. This is the four of pentacles, four of pentacles. Okay. 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 Four of pentacles, four of pentacles. Um, yeah, which would be y'all's energy Capricorn. So make sure when you're making your decision that you are in a grounded place, that you feel good in your energy and you're not making decisions based on a bad mood or being in a negative position, a negative situation or around negative people. All right. Take your time. If you're allowed, if you have the time to take before making any decisions, do so. But your money is looking balanced. All right. Just don't be like. I feel irritated right now, so I don't really want to hear you. And then that causes your opportunity to disappear because you are in a bad mood. Right? I hope this makes sense. Let's see what's going on with your relationships. What's going on? And, um, all right, hold on. Let me just get one more card first. Let's get and I'm now looking at compassion, empathy, sympathical kindness in a different way as well. Because it could be that it's not so much that somebody is obsessed. It could just be that the way how you express you're wanting to be away from them or wanting to be free might not be in the kindest of ways. Sometimes it's the way how you deliver the message. So again, just be mindful of that. I'm not making excuses for somebody trying to stalk you or be obsessed with you. I'm just saying with the kindness and empathy, sympathical, there could be a soft touch could dissipate this energy. So you got mother of wands. Well, five of pentacles and the moon. So got the moon here again. So yeah, I feel like somebody was being a little bit too, t like, yeah, obsessed. You know, other way to put this, a little bit possessive, obsessive, loving a little bit too tightly, and um. very very emotional and emotional is not a negative thing but mood swings you couldn't quite pinpoint where you if you come in or going with this energy i could be talking about you too as well capricorn because this is a general reading so i could be reading either energy whatever resonates for you right but very back and forth moody energy here um, and you've got the tower here at the bottom. So it wouldn't, it, yeah, it wasn't standing on a very solid ground because there was a sense of codependency, a, a sense of attachment. Um, you felt you could be, you could be potentially f be feeling suffocated in some way or they did, however it works. But, um, the hermit. And the lovers again. Wow. Signs. You got Pisces. You have Scorpio. We have Gemini showing up all the time with the lovers. We have Virgo here with the Hermit. We have potential um, Aries or Scorpio here as well. I would even say cancer. Let me just clarify the relationships. Well, okay. So you got the four cups and the wheel of fortune. So again, I get very back and forth. It was good. When it was good, it was great. When it wasn't, it wasn't great. Temperance here. Sagittarius coming through here strong now. Got the world at the heart. The six of wands at the bottom. So 
Yeah. You didn't know where you were, if he was coming or going with this connection is why I feel. And also it could be that, you know, one minute you were in it and next minute you weren't. So it feels as if it's coming from both. It feels very, um, I got better things to do right now. I can't be bothered. So, well, yeah. Energy here is a little bit heavy, loves. Let's see what's going on with your final message. All right, so you got the Six of Pentacles. Well, three cards. Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So now it's time for balance. Now it's time for you give the same amount that you get. You get what you give type of vibe. And for me, that's because you're no doing whatever you need to do to bring some balance into yourself to free yourself to feel like yourself to be fully yourself and to be honest and truthful with what you need what your needs are your wants your desires being honest about how you feel about what everything that's going on in your life all right because it feels as if you hold it in and it gets to a point where it then explodes and it comes out in a way which you don't necessarily want it to come out but because you've been repressing it for such a long time it's just like word vomit right so now when you bring yourself into balance by dealing doing what you need to do for yourself taking care of yourself how you need to be taken care of then everything else that does not align with that will naturally fall away and you'll be forced to walk away from whatever it is there's no going back i don't feel as if there's a going back this six of wands here this beautiful butterfly coming from out of all this bramble and all this confusion at the bottom of the deck that's what you're coming coming into you're coming into your your butterfly stage right coming out of all the confusion and coming coming into yourself being fully yourself feeling passionate again and Potential love can show up when you when you are honest with yourself and your needs and your wants, etc. Then like love can then present itself. Okay? And here's the lovers again. So making decisions that make you feel free. You got the son of wands at the bottom. So the sense of passion. Let's see what's coming, what's happening here with love. heart-to-heart okay, -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other you gotta time it you gotta go with you will know when the time is right to to deal with this but there's an ending coming here I believe free yourself it's time to take back control of your life calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and this is a top, right? And at the top of this deck is the Two of Cups, which is like soulmate energy. And the heart for you is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah. Yeah. And I see pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you on top of unrequited love. Under unrequited love is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you know, maybe in you ending it, you all become good friends instead of lovers, you know. That friend bond deepens. But the romantic side, it seems there's a little bit, there's a little bit of codependency, a little bit of attachment um, issues here I see I just saw conclusions are within reach 
full moon eclipse. And remember, we're still dealing with the follow of the eclipses that we just had in April. That energy will affect us up to about six months after the event. What's going on with Capricorn? A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer and new moon in Scorpio work through your affairs. It's lots of emotions here. Emotional energy. Bottom is a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Wow. I saw a time for healing, balsamic moon. All right, let's see. Is there a final message with the animal spirit oracle deck? Give me one last message for Sagittarius. Sorry, Capricorn. For Capricorn. Thank you. All right, so it's wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay, wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Bottom is frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Right, makes me think of this. Six of wands. All the clutter at the bottom. Um... Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. So this is saying, okay. So this is saying this and that are true. That two people could have different, different ideas and they can both be right. Right? This and that are true. At the heart is all spirit. You see clearly now. So I see there's a lot of realizations coming forward, coming through. Um, antelope spirit life is speeding up otter spirit you are never alone all right so capricorn that's your message my loves for june i hope these messages support you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment engage with this video so that it reaches a wider audience. That's a great way of supporting my channel. Thank you for being here. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the month. Be well, my loves. Bye.